is the review for Access, um, just chapter one from the textbook. And uh, the first thing was to download the um, file called uh, A03M Donor Gifts. And I've downloaded that and I'm getting these warnings here. So uh, we need to take care of these before we do anything else. So I want to enable the content. Let's try that again. Okay. And uh, it's read only, so I'm going to have to save it under a new name. And that's the first thing in the practice test assignment anyway. So I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And I'm going to go to the beginning here and put my last name and my first name and save it. And yet another warning, let's click on enable content. And once all the warnings have gone away, then we can start on the rest of the practice test. Um, item, the first item under tables is in the 3M donors table, uh, which is right here. I want to go to design view, just right click and choose design view. And we're going to change the name of the donor column to donor name. So just go there and click and add a space in the word name. Then we're going to go to phone number. We want to change the field size down here. Currently it's 15. We want to change it to 20. And then we want to add a record. So uh, we don't need to be in design view for that. As a matter of fact, we can't be in design view for that. So let's close out our design view. And yes, we want to save our changes. And then I want to open up the table. So just double click on it over here. And I want to go to the end of it. And I want to add the following record. DNR-1212. And... Phone number 712-555-1212 and the contact last name is, and I'm going to leave the first name, um, no, let's put the first name in too, whoops, and do you got to move off of the record to get everything accepted, so as long as the little pencil is here we need to move and then the pencil goes away. Okay, so um, now we want to go to the 3M GIFs table, which is right here. Um, you got to be careful. This is a query, and this is a query. This is a table. This is a table. Uh, so you can either read it on the end here, or you can just go by the icon. So we want to open the GIFs table. We want to go to the bottom of that. We want to add GIFT35. And we want to add computer lesson, and it's going to be DNR-1212, that's the ID number, and which is a link to the other table, and it's going to be miscellaneous, and 100. And again, make sure you click off of it, and then the data gets accepted. Okay, now we can close this, and we can close this, and now we want to create a form for the 3M donors table. So just click on it once over here, and go to create, and if you just click on form, it's one click, and you've got yourself a form. Uh, it's basically the same layout all the time. Um, you know, it's going to look like this for all the items in the table, and then in the link table, you're going to see a little... Uh, grid down here that has all the linked items. So if we go to, um, let's go to the end of this list here. Whoops, wrong list. That took me into this list. I want to go to the end of the donors list. So that's down here. Click on this. And it should have the record we just entered and then the gift item that we just entered as well. And they're linked together So uh, because we used the DNR1212 in both of them. And so this record shows up. Okay, now, so we've got a form here. And we want to go to Layout View. Oh, we're in Layout View already. And we want to set the width of all of these text boxes here, okay? And just hold the Control key down and do a multiple selection. And then we want to uh, go to the Properties, which is down here on the very bottom. 
and I want the width currently it's uh, 6.7 I want to make it 3 and when I tab out of there and okay looks like I chopped this off just a little bit but uh, let me see if I can fix that up this isn't part of the assignment uh, there we go so now we can see the stuff a little bit better okay um, and actually we could if we widen that though it widens everything so let's uh, let's go back to where we were before okay um, switch to design view I want to change this um, and I don't think I can yes I can I don't have to switch to design view I can stay in layout view and we want to add our name on the end so just type your name on the end and then we want to go to the form footer uh, we need to be in design view for that so let's go to design view and yes we'll save our changes and okay now in design view there's a footer down here and you just need to drag it down and then uh, we want to insert a uh, label this is the label icons on the design tab and just drag it down here and put your name in and that takes care of our form and then we want to do a one query and we want a query uh, that will give the donor name so it's going to be from the donors table so just select the donors table before you begin then go to create and then go to the query wizard and we're going to do a simple query that's all we do in here and I want the donor name and phone number so just double click on those or click once and click on the arrow to slide them over and go to next and uh, it just puts takes the table name puts the word query on the end that's fine click on finish and I want the uh, data sorted by the donor name and it's not currently sorted by that I think it's probably sorted by the ID number right now so what I need to do here is I need to go to um, let me see I think I can right click on my query here and go to design view Okay. And when I get to design view, it says I want to sort it on the donor name. So click on sort here and I want to do ascending, which would be alphabetical. And now I can uh, run the query and now I get them back in alphabetical order. And so that takes care of correctly creating the query. And the last thing we want to do is we want to report and uh, actually we're supposed to save this so let's go over here and right click and choose rename and we want this to be called donors sorted by name and then hit enter okay and now we want to create a report based on this let's go to so so let's select this first and go to create and report wizard and I want the uh, donor sorted by name and if that doesn't come up here just click on the down arrow and select it and I want all the fields so click on the double arrow that'll bring them all over quickly and then go to next and then we can take the rest of this I think and just uh, take the default values uh, yeah it doesn't say anything special to do here so we'll just keep on going and then we'll click on finish and it should bring up a picture of what a report's going to look like and it is in alphabetical order because it's based on the query that we created and um, that takes care of the practice test for access